Hello YouTube, Tim here, and finally, 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 I've started a very cool project which I'm sure you'll like. I have no results yet, but let me detail what I'm doing. Here we have a bow stave, a bow blank. I need to align it just a tiny bit. Round in the handle, I marked two, two and a half, and three inches, and I flattened from two and a half, so the handle is five inches long. This bow, number one, I tapered to 24 millimeters. Let's see, bow number two here, or the stave number two, I have not yet tapered it, but it's three millimeters less at 21 millimeters. I'm doing that using my precision tapering jig. Now, you may or may not have seen this because I did it quite a long time ago, but it is pretty cool. The whole point being I have these adjustable screws, and so I can set the depth that I'm tapering to. The way I, let me show you, set the depth measure it is with this caliper. I have an internal measure here. So that's what I'm doing. I measure it, then I go and flatten both sides to the exact same size. Then I'm going to, once they're all flattened, take the terminal six inches of each, make identical recurves on each and every one of them, cut identical knocks, put identical strings on them, bring them to identical brace heights, and I'll do a draw test where we can then see exactly what the force draw curve looks like, I'll go out and I'll shoot them through the chronograph. I'll do some slow motion stuff since why not? It's cool, right? And pretty much that's it. You know, I'll be doing some really neat stuff and we'll get a good idea of if you taper, you know, such and such a way, what should, results should you expect? It's not acceptable anymore, in my opinion, once I'm doing this, to simply say that, yeah, a U3 curved bow should be between about 35 and 45 pounds, maybe as much as 50 or as low as 25. That's huge, a huge range. So I will be testing these with round handles at first. Once that's done, I'll build a small jig so I can taper them or flatten them side to side evenly. So again, we need consistent results. Given these results, we'll be able to publish this in the Quick Reference Guide, the PVC Archery and Crafting Quick Reference Guide, which if you don't know about it, it's really cool. Get it on my blog, uh, goldenhordebows.blogspot.com, and you can go there. Just type reference in the search up at the top right. And we have lots of facts on force draw curves, ballistics, bow building, all sorts of cool tips and stats. So you may find it useful. If you do, this is going to make it only more so. I will, the next time you'll see this, I'll have all of these four tapered in descending. So 24, 21, maybe 18 and 15. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But we're going to get a bunch of results. We're going to publish them. And then I'm going to move on to other lengths and do other things. Maybe play around with the recurves, reflex. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, YouTube.